Charlie. I think I'm gonna tell people about how we were able to give you a good sleeping spot in the HCT, because it was different than the HC1. Yeah, that's how we figured it out. Let's go tell everybody. So to explain how we made the best possible sleeping situation for Charlie, I first need to explain to you a little bit about the bed in the HCT and how that's different from the HC1. So let's go inside and check it out. I was thinking that it's kind of crazy how much time and effort we put into thinking about how do we make sure the dogs are comfortable when we camp, but I don't think this is probably unusual. I mean, for us, our adults are grown. Our adults are grown, our children are grown into adults and our pets are like our children now. And so we want our camping to be fun with them. And we want them to be super comfortable. And normally we all sleep on this big king size bed. Well, that's not happening here. So the HC1 has a queen and we would make that work, but Charlie would usually get down on the floor and we would have four uh, open panels on the floor where she could sleep. Rhodes never gets on the floor. She always sleeps in the bed. But let me show you how big the beds are here, give you a sense of what we thought we might need to do to make this work better for everybody. So this, as you've seen in other videos, is our lovely bed. But it is a double. And if you can imagine two adults, a 145 pound Newfoundland and a West Highland Terrier here, it ain't happening. Or it ain't happening and anybody's sleeping, that's for sure. So what we decided to do was, because this is a full size, Rose and I will have, this as our sleeping area, which is very nice. Over here is where we'll set up Michael and Charlie, because we could take up these two cubes, which was the original plan, so she would have that extra space, stack them over here at night, and then everybody would have enough space. But like I said, Mike and I are used to a king size bed at the house. So just to make sure everybody's getting a good night's sleep, we're going to drop the table, add another tabletop, put the cushion covers on that, and then we'll have a full, uh, full, yeah, full size bed over here, which will be Charlie and Michael's place to sleep. And then everybody will get a good night's sleep. So that's how you use a Happier Camper Traveler for sleeping two adults, an extra large breed dog, and a little terrier. I'm curious how many other people are camping with their dogs. And if you are, what are you thinking for your floor plan configuration, whether it's the HC1 or the HCT? Um, I think it's gonna work really well. And we've got a really big cramping trip coming up. So I think we're gonna figure this out pretty fast. I think the only problem could be muddy paws. Well, we'll figure it out because that's part of the fun. I hope everybody's doing well. Please check out our site, happiercamperowners.com. There's some used happier campers on there. There's owner spotlights where you can hear directly from people who own the, the campers, what their experiences have been like owning. And we've got lots of articles up and hopefully it will be a useful resource. And I'm working on that thing I do. We all have something that we need to get better at. Take care, everybody.